I bet you couldn't wait to get to Darlington, could you? <laughs> no, and as hot as it is, too, but uh, it's awesome. You know, take a week off. I uh, sure didn't want to. And uh, But, you know, NASCAR has rules, and you have to abide by them. So, uh, you know, I made a mistake, and it's over with, and I'm sorry for what happened. But, uh, you know, we're at Darlington, and, and this is another sad case, the last Southern 500. And uh, it's just special, this racetrack. And to watch Kyle Yarbrough, Bobby Allison, Buddy Baker, just David Pearson, just it's awesome. Uh, Bill Elliott won the first ever Winston Bean. And a lot of things have changed in our sport, and I guess that it bothers me a little bit. You know, uh, maybe I need to learn to change a little bit quicker with them. How tough to sit on the couch last weekend, Jimmy? <laughs> well, I got a different perspective now of, of uh, the TV deal. You know, a lot of people are criticizing the TV package. And, uh, you know, I was sort of one of them. And uh, when I watch it on TV, I realize there's so much going on at the event, so much happening that uh, you can't see what you want to see because the TV producers pick what they have to pick. sometimes they don't pick the right stuff but uh i wouldn't want to be a producer because they got their hands full especially a track like bristol you guys do a great job and you've been a pit reporter before i've been a pit reporter it's it's tough it's definitely hard mr excitement jimmy spencer who provoked uh, quite a reaction from the crowd last week at bristol tennessee free jimmy <laughs> <laughs> lost puppy, lost puppy? <laughs> And there are a few funny ones we can't show you. And I'm going to tell you what, you ought to see the fans' reaction right now. I don't think any of these standing up. Sitting oh, back. no. Uh-oh. Bad dog, no biscuit. Mm. He's got away from it off turn four. That was Tommy Baldwin, you hear. The right front is locked up. And Spencer will take a provisional. Darn it. I hate that for Jimmy because he was so pumped up about coming to this racetrack and, and getting qualified for this race. Now, things are going to be a little bit tough for him, but knowing his ad attitude right now, he'll be positive about it. He'll come back and he'll Tommy Ball will unload a backup car and he'll get the job done come Sunday. This is the same car that he actually ran in Michigan a couple of weeks, weeks ago and uh, knocked the nose off in the garage area. Nose off the car. Yeah. Glad you clarified that. Coming to take the green. There you see it. Got loose with him. He corrected it, overcorrected, and it just came back around again. With him. And that's a pretty hard lick. That, that like you say, Mike, for visual land and probably backup car. Yeah. Kind of killed the right front of that one. It doesn't take much. Well, these drivers know with just doing one lap of qualifying, I think we were talking about this earlier, that that speed can so much be dictated by how you get through three and four coming to take the green. You need to really build that speed coming off turn four, and it just got away from Jimmy. He, he was trying so hard to carry that speed momentum through that corner. Jeff, did you hear it sound like something something drug on the racetrack? Is that a word? Dragged on the racetrack just prior to that car getting out of shape, like like something bottomed out there to cause him to lose control. It very easily could have, Mike. I didn't quite hear it, but at the same time, right where he was picking the throttle, it's where that would normally would happen. Well, you're running the left front so soft here, Mike, sometimes if you snatch it back right, it'll bottom the left front out. It would be interesting to interview Jimmy to see if uh, if it just came around with him or if he does think maybe something broke on it or whatever. Let's look and listen. I think the sound that you heard was after the car got loose and he tried to correct like Larry said. You hear it bottom out again and came around. Marty? A lot of noise there on that wreck, Jimmy. What happened? Just lost it, you know. Uh, drove down in the corner, got a little loose, and put the power back to it. When it caught, it was headed the wrong way. So uh, trying to sit on the pole, and that's what happened. You sit on the wall instead. Pretty good crunch, uh, obviously, backup car. Oh, yeah, there's no question. That hit hard at Darlington, yep. Yeah.